What is up folks, Jorge Nito here. Thanks for coming over. Welcome back. Guys, we have a video up today that I didn't intend on doing. Um, received a package in the mail today, actually at my doorstop because the package it's so big, it's, it's not a package, it's an actual physical box. And it's from Craig Rocanova once again. And some of you are familiar with Craig. He has sent a few things my way of which um, I unboxed and looked through a couple of them and I haven't I haven't made videos on all the packages and boxes that Craig has blessed me with. Um, I have a few videos up on a couple of them. He has been really generous, super kind, he's just a solid dude and he's decided to send yet another box and this time this box is the biggest one yet. In fact, it is so heavy, it just made makes a crashing thud when I try to place it on, on the uh, desk. But without further ado, let's get into this unboxing right now. I have absolutely no idea what is in here, but I mean, holy cow, right? Gee whiz. Craig, um, thank you. Thank you for this. Yeah, wasn't expecting this at all. Um, yeah, I have no idea. And the mailman usually never comes this early in the morning. It's usually later in the evening. Uh, but being a holiday, I'm guessing it's someone else uh, delivering the posts my way or in my general area. So I, I don't know, but yeah, kind of early in the morning. That's cool. Heard a knock on my door, looked out, and this was there. So. Again, I have no idea what's in here, um, but first and foremost, I'm going to read this note without trying to look down and see what exactly these are. It says, enjoy this large box of wonder. You'll wonder what the heck was Craig thinking. You deserve all of it. Cheers. Craig, um, yeah, just that, just that alone, Craig is really thoughtful of you, really, really super cool, man, um, again, yeah, I don't feel deserving of it, but I'm thankful, and, uh, quite, uh, taken by surprise, yeah, uh, as one would be who would reserve, uh, receive a large box like this, but, um, thank you so much, I made sure this time to have my inhaler ready, uh, because if it's anything like before, I know I'll need it. But let's let's get into this. Let's let's see what it is that that Craig did send. Um, big thank you, big thank you. So wow, holy cow! Without even just just looking, I'm seeing a lot, and this is just no. Or these aren't just ordinary decks. This is like treasured decks that people collect. I mean, let, oh my gosh, I've seen something just there that we'll look at here in a minute. But let's try to do, I'm going to try to stay focused the best that I'm able and do just one at a time. I don't even know what some of these... Like, I haven't even seen... I have, I, have, I have not seen some of these before, so... This is a pack of B Squeezers. Nice. I, I do not have one of these, and I almost was tempted to buy one recently. Rounded Corners. Just there. Blue Sill, obviously. Oh my gosh, man. Dan and Dave, Smoke and Mirrors. I don't know which one this is. I'm thinking it's V3 or V4. No, I have the V4, which is the, this is, I don't know. I don't even, I'll have to look this up, but thank you. Thank you. I love, love uh, Smoke and Mirrors. Another pack of Pagans. Love, love these cards. These are made by Usi, Taiwan Printer. Um, look at the sill on that, man. That is gorgeous. Holy cow. Okay. Um, package number two. Oh, no. 
studs. There's a dual, there's a dual pack of studs. I mean, that alone. Holy cow, man. Craig, you really did not have to do this. I, oh my god, I'm shocked. So, you know, this is just like Christmas all over. Every package he sends is like Christmas. This is a King's Wild Federal, I think Federal Reserve. I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure that is, yeah, uh, King's Wild Jackson Robinson. Love that guy. Um, the Noble Train playing cards. I have not seen. I, I never saw these before. King's Wild as well. King's Wild Project, for those who do not know, is a premium playing card company with a great creator at the helm, Jackson Robinson. Um, Johnny Cupcakes. I know this is a desired deck by a lot of people. Um, again, yeah, these are just a bunch of decks that you know, I, I, I've only ever dreamed of, because I know they're highly sought after collector's pieces. So yeah, um, Tally Ho Olive Edition, King's Wild Project. Um, yes, thank you so much, I love these. I ha actually do have one deck of these, and man, I've ran the wheels off of it. It's a great autumn deck too, if you could just see those collars uh, right there. It looks like we have matching bicycle cards. I'm not sure the design on this, but wow, dude, yeah. Um, oh, okay, so these have the original tax stamp on it. I was looking for a blue seal, but these go back, uh, I believe, a little bit later than that. So, yeah, I will have to check them out for sure. Thank you so much, Craig. My gosh, man. And, oh, man, I love it. So these are the black Tally Ho fan bags. The blue seal. I mean, it's black, but, you know, Cincinnati. He sent me a pack of these, and I have to review these because this is the best, one of the best offerings for magicians out there. The things that this come with, and you think, oh, it's just a pack of Tally Ho's. There are some very unique features and things included in this deck. I'm so happy to be able to have another one. Uh, we will check this one out for sure sometime. And King's Wild, I believe. Yeah, that is the King's Wild emblem. Just there. Uh, postage, paid, postage paid. Standard edition playing cards. Actually going to take a wheeze off of this. I'm having a hard time. Okay, let's see here. So going right into the next package, th this is insane, dude. This is absolute, holy cow, dude. Just, I would have been happy with just one deck. You, you've already sent so much stuff anyway. I, you know, I'm just amazed, man. This is Christmas times 10, you know, for me. So, uh, thanks so much. Wow. Holy cow, dude. This is, I mean, man. Mm, I just can't say enough good things. Arco playing cards right here. Holy cow, dude. Um, man, those are beautiful. Look at those. Original Arco playing cards. U.S. Regu regulation poker. Mm, thank you so much. Wow. Um, let's save this one with the studs for last. Um, just because, yeah. Oh my gosh, dude. This is insane, man. There's so, there are so many good decks in here. It looks like this is just a collection of Aladdin 1001s, which I do have one blue seal that he sent me, one of these. So, make that three now. And all of these, I didn't even know they made these other editions. Like, I had no idea that this was even a thing. And blue seal, obviously. But wow, look at how gorgeous those are. Can't wait to open those and check them out. Holy cow, man. Have a couple red ones. 
Oh, that's interesting. This has the back design of the card while this one um, has that. So that's interesting. I'm guessing that predates that one. Yeah, I'm going to have to reach out to him and, and have him explain some of the history on this. This right here, I think I have an idea of what this may be because I saw, um, I have seen this, um, Craig's before on his videos. These are the Uzi um, tarot deck. Look at the sill on that. That is insane. And of course, we got the matching deck of playing cards just there. This is giant, man. I know these are highly sought after. Um, cards. Usi is a is a well known brand who deals in all kinds of neat and interesting things. Of course, they had a successful kick pro, uh, Kickstarter project that funded the Pagans. That that's awesome, and it comes in this neat little cloth bag too. So you know, to boot. But man, look at the collar on those flowers. It's just a more of a blue. Um. Over here, it's it's more like a lighter blue. That's just interesting. Super, super interesting. Super awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much, man. All right. We're about uh, halfway through. Have two giant packs left. I'm going to see if I can readjust this just here. So let me, I'll tell you, let me rem put this box off to the side. Just so maybe you get it better. I should have done that uh, at the beginning. Man, my blue silk collection just shot up through the roof. That's insane, dude. I, I just, I still kind of get over that. I'm trying to do my best to get through this without just sitting here slobbering all over myself. Tally ho. Um, what are these? The fan backs. I, I think I called the others fan backs. Those are the circle backs, the black ones. Uh, yeah, these are the circle backs, obviously. These are the fan backs. I have the Kentucky version of these cards, uh, which, you know, these being blue silk, obviously, is going to be pure awesome. And oh my gosh, man, I love some bees. Man, I love bees. Um, just great cards to have. Uh, blue sill at that so these are the bumblebee they have the little um, logo just there another deck of the black tiger deck uh, from illusionist this was illusionist the genesis of playing cards uh, of illusionist this helped put them on the map and blue sill as well red but you know kentucky stock and finish it's insane dude Bees, bees, and more bees. I love bee playing cards. I use these so much. Um, just the regular Kentucky bees, right? So with these being Ohio, you know, my home state, um, they're just all the more special. And they're out of print, too. So even all the more desirable. This is another one of my faves that he sent recently. It is the Black Blue Seal Rider Backs. Um, these are gorgeous playing cards. Um, so there's black bikes right there. We have the bicycle. Oh, okay. The League back. Um, never saw those before either. So, wow. Beautiful, beautiful design right there. Yeah, it says League back uh, just there on the front. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to look some of these up because I don't know enough about the history uh, of these and there's just so many of them so these are the tactical field bicycle might be hard to pick up on camera David Crawford actually has been telling me to pick up these for a long time now and uh, well there's two decks of them so that's awesome um, curious to try them out blue seal obviously Holy cow, dude, this is insane. And oh man, check it out. We got the Conjure community with the Aaron Fisher, Lee Asher. Super cool, man. 
been seeing these a lot, a lot of uh, enthusiasm uh, over these cards, and for good reason. This is an older back design that Bicycle just kind of had archived, and as they was deciding for a cool back design, they were going through some of those old designs. They landed on this one. I'm not sure what, what the year was. It was pretty old, so, and uh, yeah, they landed on this design. Lee Asher designed, uh, or well, had the Joker saved for years for just the right deck, and uh, we got Lee Asher's Joker in here as well. I can't wait to get these in my hands for sure. All of these cards I can't wait to handle. It's, it's just insane, man. It's, it really is. And then we have, dun da da da. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So, so excited. All these babies right here. So Craig already sent me a pack of the red studs, which these are no cheap deck. Uh, the blue sill studs, mind you, they handle like nothing I've ever felt before. And I've handled so many different playing cards in my life. These ones are unique. This is the double pack, uh, which they originally sold in Walgreens back in the day. And I think they originally sold for like four or five bucks. I mean, maybe less than that. Uh, but man, these are so desired. I think the that you could get the double pack online for like $100. So these are always going to be close to $50 a deck, no matter, no matter where you look. Um, and they are just that good. They are worth every penny. I'm just going to open it because, hey, you know I got to. Nice. We got the blue and the red with the with the blue seal. We have a cert, cert, uh, certificate of authenticity just there validating uh, the authenticity of the cards themselves. That is amazing, dude. That is, I'm just, uh, you know, taken by surprise. And so last but not least, Craig has included an entire box of these. And I believe this is a brick box. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So just by, I've never bought a brick before, except, you know, like a mystery box brick. I've never had one that's, you know, uniform like this. So check out all of these. And he has, you know, we got reds, we got blues. That's insane. I have enough blue seals to go around that is insane so holy cow dude i you know this oh wow craig thank you so much uh for doing that and you know what um let's just do a random giveaway right now i know that i just did a uh what you call a uh 400 sub giveaway let's do a random giveaway right now for those of you who stuck to the end this is a long video because there's a lot of cards to go through but check this out. I will give two blue seals away, a red and a blue bicycle, to some lucky person who just leaves a really nice comment down below. I'll come back in a couple days and I'll give a look and I'll pick somebody out. And you will walk away with some of the best playing cards you've ever felt in your life. If 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 you haven't owned blue blue seals, the quality of the stock and finish is par none. They don't make these anymore. They're under contract obligation not to use that old equipment uh, when they moved locations. So these are highly sought after any blue seal. So somebody, yeah, leave a, leave a nice comment. Make sure you're a subscriber. Like the video. Run over, check out Craig's channel. I'll come back in a couple days and we'll send these bad boys to some lucky subscriber. Ah, <sighs> wow. That was a lot. That's a ton of cards. Like I said, this is Christmas times 10 to me. Um, I'm going to go have a seat and have a heart attack right now because my chest literally is. I Maybe if you look, you can actually see uh, the palpitations, but wow, that's a lot. Uh, it's insane. Craig, you've once again outdid yourself. Holy cow, dude. Um, thank you so much for this. Guys, thank you for checking this out. 
Jorge and Nito here. Massive unboxing. Thanks for checking it out. We'll see you back here next time. Be blessed.